Have you ever thought about creating your own sustainable garden oasis? Imagine a garden that not only adds beauty to your home, but also contributes positively to the environment. A sustainable garden is a concept that marries aesthetics with ecology, creating a tranquil space that is mindful of nature's balance. A sustainable garden goes beyond just planting. It's about nurturing a biodiverse environment that gives back to the earth. It helps reduce carbon footprint, promotes a healthier lifestyle, and even saves you money in the long run. More than that, it's a peaceful retreat right at your doorstep, a personal oasis where you can unwind and reconnect with nature. From growing organic produce to creating a habitat for local wildlife, a sustainable garden is a living ecosystem that respects and enhances biodiversity. It's about making conscious choices that benefit not just us, but our planet as well. Ready to start your journey towards a greener lifestyle? Let's delve into the steps to create a sustainable garden oasis. Step 1 to create a sustainable garden oasis is choosing the right location. The location of your garden is crucial to its success and sustainability. Let's delve into the key factors that you need to consider. Firstly, sunlight. Plants are like solar-powered creatures. They need the sun to photosynthesize and grow. So find a spot that gets at least six hours of direct sunlight each day. Next, think about soil quality. Rich, fertile soil is a plant's best friend. Consider getting your soil tested to understand its nutrient content and pH level. This will help you determine what amendments, if any, are needed. Finally, consider accessibility to water sources. Even in a sustainable garden, plants need water. Make sure you can easily access water for your plants without wasting this precious resource. Remember, the right location can make or break your garden's sustainability. So choose wisely, and your garden will thank you with lush, healthy growth. Step 2 is selecting suitable plants. Now this step is crucial because the plants you choose will greatly determine the success and sustainability of your garden. So what's the best way to start? Well, it's by choosing native plants. Native plants are those that naturally occur in your specific region. They've adapted to your local climate, soil type, and even the local pests. This makes them hardy, resilient, and relatively easy to care for. They require less water than non-native species, which is a big plus for sustainability. And because they're naturally resistant to local pests, they often don't need chemical pesticides to thrive. So by choosing native plants, you're not just creating a beautiful garden, you're also helping to conserve water and reduce the use of harmful chemicals. But it's not just about selecting native plants, you should also consider the concept of companion planting. This is a method of planting where different plants are placed close together for mutual benefit. Some plants may deter pests that would otherwise harm their neighbors, others might enrich the soil with nutrients that their companion plants need. Some may even help each other grow by providing shade or structural support. For example, the classic Three Sisters Garden from Native American agriculture combines corn, beans, and squash. The corn provides a natural trellis for the beans to climb, the beans enrich the soil with nitrogen, and the low-lying squash leaves shade the soil to keep it cool and moist. These three plants support each other, maximizing growth and minimizing pests. It's a beautiful example of how companion planting can create a thriving, sustainable garden. Remember though, that not all plants make good companions. Some may compete for resources or attract pests that harm their neighbors. It's important to do a bit of research before you start planting to ensure that your chosen plants will work well together. Choosing the right plants is not just about aesthetics, but also about creating a balanced ecosystem. By selecting suitable plants, you're taking a big step towards creating a sustainable garden oasis. Step three is efficient water management. Now this is where the real magic happens. In our quest to create a sustainable garden oasis, we must be mindful not to waste water. There are several ways we can achieve this. Firstly, let's talk about rainwater harvesting. This age-old practice is making a comeback in the modern world, and for a good reason. By capturing and storing rainwater, we can reduce our dependence on mains water supplies and save money. Plus, plants love rainwater. It's naturally soft and free from chlorine, fluoride, and other chemicals found in tap water. Next, we venture into the realm of drip irrigation. This is a method of watering that delivers water directly to the root zone of plants. It's a slow, steady process, but it's incredibly efficient. With drip irrigation, you're not wasting water by overspraying onto pathways or evaporating into thin air. You're giving your plants exactly what they need, right where they need it. 
Another water-saving technique is mulching. Yes, that's right. Mulch isn't just for suppressing weeds and looking pretty, it also helps to conserve water by reducing evaporation from the soil surface. Organic mulches such as compost, straw or wood chips can even improve soil structure and fertility as they decompose. But even with all these techniques in place, it's crucial to water at the right time. Watering in the early morning or late evening reduces evaporation. And remember, it's better to water deeply and infrequently than to give your plants a light sprinkle every day. This encourages deeper root growth, making your plants more drought tolerant. Water is life, and in our gardens, it's the difference between a lush oasis and a barren desert. But let's not forget that it's also a precious resource. By implementing these water-saving techniques, we're not just creating beautiful gardens, we're doing our bit for the planet too. Water is a precious resource and efficient management can make your garden truly sustainable. Scene Script Step 4 is Natural Pest Control In our journey towards creating a sustainable garden oasis, we've come to the crucial part that often troubles many garden enthusiasts. Pest Control But fear not, for there are organic, sustainable ways to keep those pesky invaders at bay. One way to do this is by inviting beneficial insects into your garden. Yes, you heard it right. Not all insects are foes. Many, like ladybugs, lacewings, and parasitic wasps, are friends. These helpful critters prey on harmful pests, keeping their numbers under control. Planting a variety of native plants can attract these beneficial insects, creating a healthy, balanced ecosystem. Birds, too, can be great allies in your quest for natural pest control. They feast on a variety of garden pests, from slugs to caterpillars. To encourage birds to visit your garden, consider installing bird feeders or nesting boxes. Just remember, it's a fine balance. You don't want the birds to start nibbling on your prized produce. Another organic method for pest control is the use of natural pesticides. These can be concoctions made from household ingredients such as garlic, pepper, or soap. While they can be effective, remember to use them sparingly to avoid harming beneficial insects or altering the soil pH. Lastly, keep in mind that a healthy garden is naturally resilient. A diverse garden ecosystem with rich, well-nourished soil and a variety of plant species can keep pests in check on its own. Pests often target weak, unhealthy plants, so ensuring your garden is vibrant and thriving is the best defense. Remember that the goal is not to eliminate all pests. That would be both impossible and undesirable. Pests play an important role in the ecosystem, and a certain level of them is actually beneficial. The key is to maintain a balance, to keep their numbers in check without resorting to harmful synthetic pesticides. Remember, a sustainable garden is about working with nature, not against it. Step 5 is composting and maintaining soil health. In the world of sustainable gardening, composting is a game changer. It's essentially a two-in-one solution, reducing waste and enhancing the soil's fertility. By composting your kitchen scraps and garden waste, you're creating a nutrient-rich organic material that your plants will absolutely love. Imagine this, you're peeling potatoes for dinner. Instead of tossing those peels in the garbage, you add them to your compost pile. Over time, they break down into a rich, dark, crumbly substance that's full of nutrients. This compost can be mixed into your garden soil, providing your plants with a natural, slow-release source of nourishment. But the benefits don't stop there. Compost also improves the structure of your soil, helping it to retain water and support the growth of beneficial microorganisms. In other words, it's a powerhouse for soil health. Remember, a sustainable garden isn't just about what you plant, it's also about how you feed your soil. Healthy soil is the foundation of a healthy garden. So, those are the steps to create a sustainable garden oasis. In the past few minutes, we've journeyed through the green world of sustainable gardening. We started off by finding the perfect spot for your garden, a place where nature can thrive. Then we delved into choosing plants that are suitable for your region, plants that can flourish with minimal human intervention. Then came the crucial aspect of water management, where we discussed the importance of conserving water and using it efficiently. We talked about natural pest control methods, a way to keep your garden healthy without using harmful chemicals. And finally, we explored the world of composting and soil health. We learned how to recycle kitchen and garden waste to enrich your soil, promoting healthier plant growth and saving our planet. Remember, every step towards sustainability counts. Start your sustainable garden journey today.